I want to talk a little bit about my process of discovery and integration. Although I come from a ballet background, my aesthetic is to blend and mix styles. And the first thing I do when I come into a new situation is I like to see what dancers can do other than ballet. So Ben uh, showed me a little hip hop and break dancing, and I thought, oh, I've been integrating that for years. I'm going to use it. <coughs> Chris, Chris showed me some tap. Not my favorite dance form, but I thought, you know what? Two of the most authentically American dance forms. I'll integrate them. So a little material, and I gave them some improv, focus improv, with the three different aspects of focus that I teach. And, and Thomas, for instance, we worked, on, we worked on inner focus and presence and, and the power of doing nothing. Pedro, we worked on projected focus and walking. Simple walk. And we worked on ography. The, Ography of choreography, which is the relationship of steps to space. And sometimes you learn things from dancers. I, I was giving um, Greg a gymnastic move called a kip. And he said, I don't know, he said a kip was... An engineering term for 1,000 pounds. Yeah, something about engineering, I, I, I don't know what. Anyway. Anyway, I, I really liked their solos, and, and I hadn't planned it, and I thought, oh, I'd love to show you their solos, and then I thought, I don't have any music. And so then I thought, well, well, maybe we'll just make up our own music. And so I think it was Thomas who started the dancer band.